So Luckin Coffee was honestly on the track of becoming like the next Starbucks, especially there was more Luckin Coffee stores in China than Starbucks stores in China. That says something and makes it really strong and this is why the overall stock was at $50 in January 17th, 2020. And then eventually it started going down because the pandemic, it's normal. It went down to $25, okay, $25. A lot of people start buying in. People thought it was a pretty good price. And then on the morning of April 2nd, it just plummeted to immediately to $8.71. It kept going down over the course of a few days to $4.39. Eventually NASDAQ had to take it off the stock market for a while because it was fabricating sales. So Luckin Coffee was selling one cup of coffee and they say they were selling two cups of coffee and maybe also a cookie. You kind of get the idea. That's illegal. That's fabricating sales. And people were kind of skeptical in general. And I guess the earnings were not as good as people thought it was. It was probably pretty bad since they were fabricating sales. And it's pretty bad, especially how this is affecting other Chinese companies out there. And now NASDAQ is tightening grips for Chinese companies wanting to go public in the United States. And one big benefit for a lot of Chinese companies going public here in the U.S. is because the U.S. market is way more stable than the Chinese market. Have you guys seen the Chinese market? It looks worse than Bitcoin. It's actually really, really bad. And it's always going down. It never goes up. Whereas the American markets, they have like 10-year bull runs. It's always very stable. And there's more investors and there's more capital. Currently, Luck and Coffee today is trading super low at $2.76. In fact, it's so cheap to the point that you could probably buy a lot of shares. But keep in mind, there's a reason why this is so cheap. And there's a reason why it opened up at negative 36%. Check this out. Luckin Coffee is running the risk of becoming delisted. NASDAQ is pretty not happy that Luckin Coffee is back at this thing again and they want to kick them out. So you can see here people are saying if you like Luckin Coffee at $50, you're going to love it at $2.80. It's honestly pretty funny. If you guys want to get some Luckin Coffee shares, it's probably a perfect time to do so. But if NASDAQ kicks Luckin Coffee, off the stock market, your money goes to zero because it's not worth anything anymore. So be very careful. I do own 10 shares of Luck and Coffee, which I bought at like $2.80 on Weeble. I bought it just for fun. And right now, bottom line is, if you want to buy Luck and Coffee right now, you're gambling to the point that you might lose all your money. This is worse than options due to the fact that they might totally get delisted. And if they get delisted, your money goes to zero. So you can see yesterday, Luckin Coffee received a delisting notice from NASDAQ. And currently, they try to go to court. Luckin Coffee is a filing an appeal, but I highly doubt that Luckin Coffee can win. I'm pretty sure NASDAQ's gonna win. When NASDAQ makes up their mind, it's gonna tell Luckin Coffee to shut its things down. It's kinda like your parents telling you to clean your room. If you don't do it, they get really angry and eventually you kinda have to do it. It's kind of like the same situation with Luckin Coffee. Things aren't looking so good. And currently, this might even become a penny stock. The valuation was worth billions and billions of dollars. Now, it's only worth a meager $267 million. It's pretty bad. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.